working with the Pythagorean theorem. What is the Pythagorean theorem? The Pythagorean theorem provides us with a formula that can be used to find the length of an unknown side of a right angle triangle given the length of two known sides. The formula, or theorem, hypotenuse squared is equal to side 1 squared plus side 2 squared. How does it work? Let's take a look at an investigation. Start by drawing a right angled triangle. Label the side opposite the right angle that is marked with a small square, the hypotenuse. Label the bottom side, side 1. Label the remaining side, side 2. Now, let's put it to work. Read the given question carefully, underlining key words. Given a right angle triangle, triangle ABC, angle B is 90 degrees. The length of side 1 is 4 centimeters. The length of side 2 is 3 centimeters. What is the length? of the hypotenuse. Using the information provided in a question, write down what is given. For the example we are working with, we are given that triangle ABC has angle B at 90 degrees. Side 1 is 4 centimeters. Side 2 is 3 centimeters. Write down what is required. You are required to find the length of the hypotenuse. Determine the formula that will be used. Hmm. Ah, oh, the hypotenuse squared is equal to side 1 squared plus side 2 squared. Now that we know that, we can substitute the values given in the question into the equation. The hypotenuse squared is equal to 4 squared plus 3 squared. Now, you know that the hypotenuse squared is side 1 squared, which is 4 squared, plus side 2 squared, which is 3 squared. And 4 squared is 16, 3 squared is 9, 16 plus 9 is 25, so the hypotenuse would be the square root of 25, which is 5. Now state the conclusion. The length of the hypotenuse is 5 centimeters. Question. How would the formula change if you were given the hypotenuse and one side and were asked to find the second side? The answer? Side 2 squared equals hypotenuse squared minus side 1 squared. Now let's practice. 